call in if you've played the game. We're going to do a four call lightning round. Harrison Wood, have you played the game? Oh, which game? This game, Outlast, my brother. Like uh, Motorhead or what? <laughs> what game? How are we even in the realm of playing a game called Motorhead on this show? Oh, I thought you were talking about the song. Oh, no, no. This, how, like the you were game. the game or something. I can't. Uh, the logic is all mixed up. It's supposed to be lightning uh, around Harrison. Uh, he's talking about songs. We're talking about games. Eric's got a lot to say. Harrison's calling back in. Harrison, you're back. I'm sorry, my friend. It's all right. Thanks for having me. It's great to be on the show. You're back, brother. Yes, it's always great to be uh, to be on the show. So you're... What did, what did you want to ask me? So now I, I actually figured out what you were saying was Motorhead because I said, have you played the game? Like the Triple H intro song. I wasn't on the mm -hmm. wrestling mindset. I, I do apologize. That's all right. I don't... I'm not really into that either. I just played Brutal Legend once. <laughs> so you're a Lemmy fan from way back. Well, how can I help you? I know you wanted to uh, get into some topics. You haven't played Outlast, I take it. No, no. Not my kind of game. Yeah. Well, I mean, not for free, me. I'll try it. And, yeah, uh, I'll try it out too. You know, it's, 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 it's a good game, I guess, to stream because it's just kind of a linear, like, avoid these guys, yeah, look at these horrifying, around, yeah. horrifying things. Which, it freaks me out bad because I have a night vision camera, uh, like, as a security system at my house. And there's a, a monitor, and it looks, like, at night, it looks like this green tint. And it fucking freaks me out because I look into it at night, and I, like, imagine, like, these fucking shadowy figures, like, looming yeah. around in my driveway. That's, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, the this game kind of mirrors that subgenre of horror movies you know just kind of pov on and, yeah. yeah found footage kind of thing play and mess around yeah just like those there's tons of those on netflix i went through like a marathon with this yeah some stuff. of those like, are pretty bad though yeah definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely american horror is just but, uh, not what it used to be i mean from that previous caller's uh recommendation though that american horror story that takes place in the asylum sounds pretty cool yeah i've seen a few of the first season and then the first few of the second season. And I, I think that's a pretty good show. I, I enjoyed what I saw. You dig it, huh? Well, yeah, I, I've, I've wanted to go back and see that, yeah. Well, what did you, uh, what did you want to talk about? Uh, well, thinking about all this, you know, horror stuff and kind of classic, I really enjoy the, you know, not necessarily all the way classic, but, you know, pretty old from today's standard, like The Thing. You oh, yeah. I mean, like John Carpenter's sex, The just, Thing? A gore, yeah, yeah, like a gore fest, you know, just like this. A gore fest is in like, uh, like brain damage, like, uh, what was it called? Oh, man. What's, like, that's the, that... that's the New Zealand title. What was it called over here? I'm not sure. Fuck. I'm not sure. Brain damage, I know whatever. Kinda, what's the one with the reanimator? Is that oh, the yeah, where... some Stuart Gordon. Yeah, uh, yeah, the one where the head eats the girl out. That's that that's uh that is reanimator. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he eats her out. Oh, that's such a gross term. Eats her <laughs> out. Uh, what we say on the Mega Sixty Four podcast is cunnilingus. Cunnil cunnilingus. Yeah, I prefer cunnilingus yeah, by name. You're some undead cunnilingus. Boogie made a beautiful um, gif of that, but he did oh, spell really? cunnilingus wrong. Ah. Two ends. Look, Two ends, Boogie. No worries. I get shit wrong more often than you, so I want to talk. <laughs> Someone had to point it out to me. It's not like I fucking noticed it. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, you're a fan of The Thing? You like that movie? Yeah, it's good. I like that 80s horror. Definitely, Definitely. Man. Definitely. Yeah, I think that's more your style. I like the special effects and stuff. We're just... Practical. That's my thing. If there's... Practical... If there's, uh... You know, if there's a physical prop made for a film i just think that adds so much more you know what i mean some of these movies you know? are getting really good at, at at going over top a physical prop or a practical effect mm -hmm. with cg in a really light you know it's almost like you paint uh or you you would draw and ink a picture out with like i don't know that that analogy makes absolutely no fucking sense <laughs> never mind i'm not i'm gonna quit while i'm ahead 
they're they're getting better at at uh, going real heavy with yeah. the prosthetics and the makeup and uh-huh. doing what they can, and then just getting Mixed. getting delicate with the touch up when it comes to adding a little CG on top of that effect. I think that's I, I think that's the way to go. I think we're getting better. I think movies are gonna get into a, you know, oh, we're yeah. gonna get we're gonna have a good age soon, hopefully. The golden age of filmmaking. I don't know about that. I you think don't that's know. You don't know about a, a, a new, new golden age. Why not, man? And be optimistic. Well, I think that was the new Hollywood era, sixty-seven Whoa. to eighty. Uh, me the eighties, man. That's me pers- that was the good stuff. And the eight, I mean, definitely through the eighties and even early nineties, we had some fantastic stuff. But I think the true golden age was then, because you had so much more freedom and executives were given a lot more freedom at that time with United Artists and all that stuff. But I don't know. But that's why you're in There's film a, school, brother. Well, that's why I'm in community college in a film class. There you go. <laughs> oh! Well, thanks for uh, keeping on keeping on, Harrison. Yeah, thanks for chatting. Yeah, it's been nice to have a call with you that was like over 10 seconds long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I seem to get hung up on. It's all have right. you always? Is Oh, because we did that earlier, but you've been hung up on before? <laughs> like two other times with you. You got to change your, you got to switch up your approach. All right. It works. Thanks for the second chance. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, later, man. All right. It's all so random. It's not even a second chance. Harrison, I hope you have no hard feelings.